Okay, so uh, welcome back, bros and broettes. In this episode, you're going to see me and my parents checking out a brand new pond that we uh, haven't fished before for trout. So we're targeting wild native brookies, and let's see if we can hook up. And today we're going to put the automatic fishermen's to the test. We're going to put my trouting theory to the test. We know it always works on rainbows and browns, but we're going to see if uh, the brook trout follow suit. So we're fishing in uh, somewhat shallow waters, definitely less than 10 feet, somewhat close to the shore. We're going to have three rods going, all different types of bait. So let's see if we can hook up. Oh yeah, and another thing is we're not really all that far away. There's been open water over there where a salmon river runs in and uh, the highway is just probably a 15 minute walk over there. The first hour of fishing turned out to be a bit slow. We had pork fat, marshmallows, and cheese. Quickly we started to notice that only the pork fat was getting the bites, so all three of us made the switch and quickly we were all getting bites. Nice one. Alright, let's see if we can hook up before we go. There is no bigger heartbreak than losing a big trout. Almost. Wow! First fish of the day. Nice big wild brook trout. And on this day, old man Dan was on fire. <laughs> he was getting bites left, right, and center. We couldn't keep up. And he was the one who was the closest to shore. Yeah, go figure. Why don't you show us that monster you just reeled in? Oh wow. Look at that. That's a, that's a beauty. Is pickle? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. get that thing out of here. Is pickle? Oh, come back. Get that thing out of here before you use it for bait. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> you got trout, Bruno. Yeah, you got one. Yeah, Better than one. none. I got so far. That's alright, at least I caught a buzz. <laughs> Set it off or yeah, he's definitely nibbling. There's a big guy, he had that guy set up or no.
Yeah, no, I'm next pick then because I said, well, I'm going to try jig for a bit. Well, at least we're all getting bites. Shallow water. Wild native brook trout. Not stocked. So we're getting bites. Let's see that wild native trophy. Oh, oh, that's a salmon par for one. <laughs> see you later. Not like this 14 inch beauty. Alright, I got a few bites, but hopefully I can get something with a half an hour to go. Okay, come on, we'll get back to And as soon as I stop recording, he gets the fish. It's another nice one. 12 inches to go with that 14 inches. That a boy. So that was that. I promised to buy whoever caught the biggest trout their beer, and uh, that's exactly what I did. I got skunked, and then I got skunked. So yeah, and funny as it is, I was the one who was fishing the furthest away from shore. So yeah, maybe I should learn to take my own advice. <laughs> Either way, at the end of the day, we still had a bit of fun. It was extremely windy, but there was no one out there. We were the only ones. And now I'm here editing this video, and it's still about 120k wind outside. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Appreciate that so much. Remember, when you're out fishing for those trout, get those small lures and get into that shallow water. Less than 10 feet of water. I hope everyone out there is doing good, doing great, and... Uh, Hope you all catch some big fish. Keep on watching, subscribe, and cheers.